Okay, gents. The real issue is going to be, do you like Coquina Key? So, I'm going to take a little bit of a ride. I'm leaving the property now. Sorry. Leaving the property now. Now, see, these houses over here, they face the water. They have canal frontage. So they're a little bit nicer. But it, you know, you would think with a name like Coquina Key, everything would be three hundred, four hundred, five hundred thousand dollar houses, and that is not the case. It's pretty much you know middle of the road stuff. So I'm trying to give you a view of what it's like. I'm on the main road into Coquina Key. And this little bridge here takes us back to the mainland, back to 4th Street. So now we are on the mainland. I hope this is working for you because I'm driving and filming at the same time. But I'm actually going to drive you all the way up to downtown because I want you to see as best I can show you the area from here to downtown. Okay, so this is 4th Street which connects to downtown right here. This is 4th Street. So we're getting on 4th Street. If you look at a map, this is 45th Avenue South. We just turned off of, which turns into Lewis. And now we are northbound on, on 4th Street. I just don't want you to have any misconceptions about Coquina Key. So I'm actually going to go back and shoot a second video just riding around the neighborhood. But I wanted to get an idea of how far it is to get to downtown St. Pete. So we're just going to let this run and you can hopefully get an idea what it's like. so that you can, you're getting sick. See, uh, Coquina Key starts on 45th Avenue South and you get to downtown and Central Avenue, which is like 45 blocks away. So you got about 35 blocks 
you've got about 35 blocks of this kind of stuff until you get to downtown St. Pete between 45th Avenue South and Central Avenue there's about 45 blocks so like right now um, see what Avenue we're on not street but what Avenue makes a lot of difference in St. Pete on whether you're on the street or you're on the Avenue so you can see the building down there hopefully uh, We don't want, want the avenue, not the street. Okay, see this is 22nd Avenue. So we're about 20 blocks from, from Coquina Key. And after about 20 blocks, it starts getting better. It's, those, it's like from 20th Avenue South to 45th Avenue South. It's, it's not too hot. But once you get up here, you start getting close to downtown. And things start uh, getting a little nicer. Actually got a little bit of a section here, but before too long, you're in... Uh, So we're at 14th Avenue South, so we're getting there. Fifth Avenue South. Yes, I can shift gears and film at the same time. If you can see anything. I hope you can. And now we are in downtown this is the 6th Avenue South uh, 4th Street turns into one way so we have to get off of 4th Street here one moment please And now you're close to the to the Salvador Dali Museum. You're in downtown St. Pete with all that downtown St. Pete has to offer. And we'll just go a little bit, since we've gone this far, we'll just go a little bit further and I will show you some of downtown St. Pete. See, right now we're on 4th Avenue South. One moment, please. And now you're really getting into the downtown district. Here's 2nd Avenue South. And now you're starting to see all the shops and everything. We'll go a little bit, oops, sorry. Uh, we'll drive back. I was taking a, a picture of my steering wheel instead of the. Okay, so this is Central Avenue. 
And so that's those were your 45 blocks. Now we're gonna go down here to downtown St. Pete, which is really nice. Um, lots of quaint uh, little shops and things. Then you go into keep going straight until you get to the water. Well, I think we'll go down First Street, which is not quite to the water. I'll show you that in a second. See, it's just like you're riding around with your real estate agent. Okay, we're gonna go Again, I was taking a picture of my steering wheel. Sorry about that. Now we're down around little outdoor cafes and things. But actually, I guess that's a little bit further down when they have the cafes. The further south. We're going to do a bit of a U-turn here. See, it's uh, right now it's about four four o'clock on a Tuesday. So like on Saturdays and Sundays, this place is packed. But uh, right, so you can see where all the tables are, where everybody sits outside and everything. But um, like I said, it's it's not prime time right now. It's As long as we're here, we might as well go around, see around the Vinoy Hotel and etc. See there, I don't. You can have to look at this in conjunction with a map, but the Vinoy Hotel sits right there on Fifth Avenue, and it opens up into this this big water area. Uh, this is the Renaissance, or not the Renaissance, any, yeah, it is the Renaissance, okay. The Renaissance Vinoy Resort and Golf Club. And it's really the Grand Dam Hotel of St. Petersburg. You can see that, hopefully you can. And then we come around this way. This is where you can park your yacht. It opens up onto the bay. So over here you have this beautiful view over here. That's the same thing here, out there. But you have this basin. And then over here, you have this park. And that's where we were a minute ago, 
seeing um, those cafes and everything around the other side of this park and they have a museum of fine arts here and they have the Salvador Dali Museum is here and lots to do in downtown everybody loves downtown St. Pete um, and I'm not really doing it justice but I'm doing the best okay so I'm going to take you again back to uh, we're going to take another lap and we're going to go back to the, the Coquina Key so I can show you that